Shalom, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Risk your life to do so. And I uh, just wanted to touch on the topic. Uh, it came up at the main camp uh, last week, and I, you know, I wasn't gonna, gonna say anything on it, you know, because uh, it was kind of explained. But I uh, just wanted to add in, All right, because right now we're we're in the time of uh, the former reign, you know, on the earth, right? Now, when I say that, I mean the autumn, the autumn time, you know, the time right before winter time where it rains, right? But in terms of uh, in the spirit, right, we're in the time of the latter rain, right? The former rain being the time before where the spirit was still on us, all right? Just like with, with the thing with, with the, in Acts, the spirit came on those men to speak those different languages, to talk to Israelites from different, different countries, all right? Those cloven tongues came upon them. So through the spirit, that was the time of the former rain. And here we are in the end days where it says, which I'm going to read that, that your sons and daughters will dream dreams and, you know, you will prophesy. The Lord basically revitalized us with the Holy Spirit, all right, as it says in the scriptures. And, uh, you know, right now in Chicago, it's October. It's, you know, it's the first day of real cold. It's going to be cold for the next month. But uh, I'm going to put the phone to the... You can kind of hear it. Basically, it's just south side sprinkling. This would be considered the, the form of rain, you know, for uh, planting and growing. All right, which you had the form of rain in the, in, the, in, the, in the fall time. And then in the springtime is the latter rain. All right, the, this rain helps certain uh, crops grow. Certain things that you have to harvest up before the winter time. And then certain seeds you would plant now. And then this rain will help them to be water locked into the soil. You know, because when they're down there, they're still alive. They're just water locked. And then uh, that 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 uh, latter rain comes in the springtime. And then stuff starts to sprout out. You know, temperature starts to uh, warm up. All right, but this is Joel 2 and 23. Um, it said, be glad then ye children of Zion and rejoice in the Lord, your power, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month and the four, the floor shall be full of wheat and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the power of, your, of the Lord, your power of Yahweh, your power that that hath dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord, your power and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. Right. And this is all coming after uh, the different events of uh, Armageddon. And I will, I will move far off. You know, it talks about that. You know, it talks about the end, basically, the end of days. All right, but jumping back, this is the time that we're in, that he will pour out his, his spirit upon all flesh. All right, because ultimately the spirit is likened unto, what, living waters. All right, these, these are waters that are, that are upon us. And I got a couple of scriptures just to back that up. Because that's what, that's what you're seeing now, man. You're seeing us prophesy. You're seeing brothers have different dreams, right? Even, you know, brothers' wives or children or whoever, you know, is around that man of the Lord. It says, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out the Spirit. You, you have random people who, you know, sometimes a dream is a dream, but you'll have random people who can, who can see things too who've never actually read what they saw in the scriptures that we can hear and break down. All right? And that's what the prophets are for. And this is, uh, I'm going to jump back to that one. 
uh, second edge of seven, because basically uh, the Lord brought us back. He took away his word out of the earth. He took his voice away, right? Nobody was prophesying. Now, did you have, you always had a remnant, all right, who had a zeal of righteousness, but they didn't have the full understanding, right? The commandment keepers, they didn't have the full understanding. Uh, shall hell, even at one West, that, you know, that was the beginning basically of, of our ministry. But as time goes on, the Lord has increased. Uh, he's given an increase to, to, to the, the foundation that they set up. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we give double honors to our elders. That's why the scriptures say that. I, I, I um, Talking about any, any increase in wisdom, he said, I will make thy, thy brook into a river. Right? It's, a, it's an increase. Right? The Lord breathed that life. He, retur he returned all these things to us. He returned that 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 name that was there from the beginning to us, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is second edge of seven and twenty-eight. For my son, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed with those that be with him, and they that that remain shall rejoin with rejoice within four hundred years. After these years shall my son Hamashiach die, and all men that have life. And the the world shall be turned into the old silence seven days, like as in the former judgments, so that no man shall remain. And that was a time where the word of the Lord was precious. It was with one man. You know what I'm saying? I believe that was the time of Samuel. And then over times, you know, the scriptures tell us that through the mouths of the prophets, you know, the Lord spoke, you know, in, in many different places. Right, through through diverse you know through through diverse men the Lord spoke, basically. All right, but it it wasn't you know it wasn't like now where all of the tribes are open to become priests. All right, so right now the time that we're in is very special. You know what I'm saying the word of the Lord is very precious. It's all it's always been precious. You know what I'm saying, but you just have a lot of uh, Jakes who. Uh, are not of the elect, you know, playing games with the Lord and playing games with his word. Right? You have a lot of false prophets, you, you know, which, you know, ultimately it's all prophesied anyway. But that's what happened. The world should be turned into the old silence. Seven, you know, the world basically went back after the Lord died. Um, the, the, it, 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 that was, that was it, you know, after him, you know, um, uh, uh, his all his men, you know, they went and and they did what they did. You know, Paul came onto the scene, right? And then uh, we've seen, you know, the apostles. They were all uh, uh, crucified, you know, put to death. Yes, some of those churches that were built, they might even still be there today or or whatever. But as we can see through Catholicism. They weren't moving with the spirit of the Lord. Those things were changed and and and, and merged into with a different heathen culture. That's what you see with 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 the Catholics. They mixed a lot of heathenism, you know, in with uh, the scriptures. That's why during certain times of the year, the Pope he wears different certain colors. All right, during Lent he'll wear one color. During Easter he'll wear, you know, that's all. That all goes back to paganism. You know, now the Pope is talking about he's okay with same-sex uh, marriage, which is not of the scriptures. All right, so we know that that stuff is going off. And that's why in those churches, there were so many divisions. All right, the, the great schism and all, you know, you read through the history of uh, Catholicism and Protestantism and, and whatever isms that came, you know, Christ, Christian isms that came out of that. It's all, you know, they'll have some parts of truth with a lot of lies in there. Right, especially when Esau got a hold of it and they began to use it as a uh, as a as a as a sword. Right, but a certain part and then they began to revise the scriptures, you know, change aka change what the scriptures say. <laughs> All right, which the scripture, hey, it talks about that in the scriptures, what happens when you take away from, from uh, the words of the Lord. All right, and after seven days, the world that yet awaketh not shall be raised up and that shall die that is corrupt and the earth shall restore those that are asleep in her and so shall the dust 
Those that dwell in silence in the secret places shall deliver those souls that were committed unto them. And the Most High shall appear upon the seat of judgment and misery shall pass away and the long suffering shall have an end. Right, and that's the time that we're in, man, where where the Lord is, is uh, he's, on a, he's on that seat of judgment. All right, he's given us the rules. You know, we, we're, we're here rehearsing the righteous acts. We're waiting to be made perfect. All, right, all of creation groaneth. And ultimately, we're long suffering. And the work shall follow and the reward shall be shown and the good deeds shall be a force and wicked deeds shall bear no rule. Right, and the, the, the wicked is about to be cut out of the earth completely. And that's basically what was what was set to happen, man. The the prophets said to come back in the end times, and that's exactly what happened. All right, uh, Hosea six and one. Come and let us return unto the Lord, for He hath torn, and He will heal us. He hath smitten, and He will bind us up. What did he, What did He say? I will not make a full end of thee. Excuse. Me. And that's why we need this. Uh, we need this rain, man. We need this this spiritual increase. We we need it. All right, because if the Lord doesn't put that rain upon you, if the Lord doesn't wake you up, then that means you just a, you just lost your lost soul on this earth. You know, you 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 haven't been watered. He said that after two days will he revive us and then the third day will he raise us up and we shall live in his sight. All right. And that goes back to, you know, what, what the scriptures talk about uh, uh, goes into the that uh, that time and times and half a time. Right. That time between the time when we were brought here, you know, in mass numbers in 1619. Right. Because you, you already had Jake in the slavery. You had some of us over here, some of us going to it. But that was the, the, the time where the, the the majority of those uh, um, boats began to show up and, until 1969, right? When they set their nest among the stars, when, when Abba Bivin was, was, was out there preaching. All right, the truth came out of Harlem. That's the time that we're in. We're being raised up. All right, the end of days. You know, where, where are all of these uh, these uh, Edomite uh, prophets at? <laughs> you know, if, if everything is so open to all nations, where, where, are they, where are the Elamite, you know, prophets at? Where are the Moabite prophets at? Where is the prophecy? What does it say? Who can but prophesy? No, what you're seeing is black, Native American, and Latino men, so-called, able to go into this book and show and break down right and declare and give understanding and it's really that simple I would say the spirit is like is like the wind I think that's on my list because right, ultimately it's the Lord man it's like you say man uh, the, the wind blows from the east to the west it's from the it's the Lord that giveth promotion. All right, he said what? When uh, there's one that lieth in the dust and, and is never thought of, that shall wear the crown. Our enemies will see us, right? And say, is this, this is the, this is his choice? You know, that's what all of this applies to, because <laughs> the Lord is going is raising us up. <laughs> He would have to raise us up for them to make that statement like, damn, these are the people. These people who have been a byword and a proverb and a John 3 and 8, the wind bloweth where it listeth and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell when it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the spirit. All right? Yeah, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Of course, there are certain... Uh, uh, um, there are certain streamlines of wind 
you know, a certain uh, wind and, and water currents. But for the most part, hey, you don't you don't know where that wind is going. All right, the same is like the spirit that's on us. All right, the Lord sends that ministration of angels on us. To, to open up your mind, open up your understanding. All right, and we have to we have to continue to strive to be that vessel right for these living waters, man. Strive to have the your cistern, you know, full of uh your own waters, like the scriptures say. All right? And then it says what? They are of a broken, they're of a broken cistern <laughs> that can hold no water. A fool can hold no knowledge. And if you're a broken cistern, then this isn't gonna stick with you. All right, a cistern being a yeah, cistern, an artificial reservoir receptacle for holding water, a natural reservoir. All right, we are the we are the temple. We we are you know all these different things. The temple, you know, the Lord dwelleth not in the temples made with hands. Right now in Jerusalem, you got the uh, the dome of a rock. It's a damn Islamic temple in Jerusalem right now. With with uh, twenty four karat gold ceiling, so people believe like, oh, well, shit, the Lord got to be here, right? Nah, this is Deuteronomy thirty two and two. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, my speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of the Lord, ascribe ye greatness unto our power. And to publish the name of the Lord, you have to know his name. Yep, he is the rock. His work is perfect for all his ways are judgment. A power of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. There you go. All right, I had another one, um, Isaiah 44 and and two and one. Yet hear now, O Jacob, my servant in Israel, whom I have chosen. Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have uh, chosen. I, Yash, Yashawan meaning uh, upright one. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thy offspring. That is plain. <laughs> it's plain. All right, the, the, the floodgates. That's, that's the, they actually sing that in the church. Open the floodgates of heaven. Well, that's what it means. The spirit is going to pour out upon you. And when the spirit is going to pour out upon you, you're going to speak the words of the Lord. All right, that's the time that we're in, man. We're the time for, for your mouth to be like living waters. Like I said before, there was a time where the scripture said, what, many kings have desired to see the things you see. There have been many people that open this book up and read about these beasts. And they think these are, you know, you see some of the pictures online. They think they're literal beasts. They read the Lord coming with clouds. They think these are literal clouds. They read that, um, you know, that this is a beast with seven heads and a, and a, and a whore riding on, you know, they really think that that's an actual woman that's going to come from the sea and, and, you know, some, 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 some Godzilla, you know, King of Monsters type of shit. All right. But the Lord has blessed us with the understanding. It says, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. One shall say, I am the Lord's and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. Of course, because he's dealing with the Israelites. All right, this is for Israel. <laughs> and another shall subscribe with him, with his hand, 
unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel, which Jacob and Israel being the same. All right, those two being who are those two uh, in Ezekiel 37. Right, those two, those two prophets. Or, or rather those two uh, uh, sticks, you know, which are put together. All right, Jacob, uh, uh, Judah and Israel are in captivity together, basically. All right, thus saith the Most High, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last and beside me there is no power. And who as I shall call and shall declare it and set it in order for me since I appointed the ancient people. Right? Who else? Who's gonna who else can, is gonna is gonna receive this? He appointed the ancient people. He appointed us, right, to be the apple of his eye, to be uh, the, the the vessels of righteousness, to be the righteous, right? To be the people who whom wisdom dwell with. Uh what's that? Sirach 24. Right? That's that's where wisdom dwells above all. And the things that are coming. And shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a power beside me? Yea, there is no power. I know not any. Right? It's only one, one father, one son. All right? And, and going back to uh, the original topic, which it's, it's all, uh, it all uh, loops together. All right, that former and that latter ring, basically the farmer, they, they needed that ring. All right, that's a, that's a curse, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, like it says, uh, the nations that won't come and serve you, I will bring uh, famine over, the, over their land. I will stop the ring, basically. All right, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a blessing, man. If you, if you own lands, you got to have that rain coming in because that's going to give you that increase. All right, and that's the mindset that the Lord puts us in, man, to, to understand lordship, to understand, you know, how to uh, uh, have servants and to conduct business because that's who he is. He's the ultimate. He's the Lord of Lords. He has messengers around. He got his servants moving, speaking for him, conducting his business. Right, flipping their talents. All right, for you to not receive rain, that's a that's a uh that's a curse, you know, that was put up on us, man. For you to not receive the uh rewards and benefits of your labor. And that's what Jake is dealing with now, trying to push heavy for reparations and all this other shit. You know, especially now that they're 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 lying about how many how much money that they're giving to uh you know, these Israelites who are coming here from other nations. Which really, you know, and my, I'm going to put my opinion, they're saying that they're paying them one thing, but then when I spoke to them, I, I, I didn't see it, you know. I spoke to a couple of them. I think that they're funneling that money into uh, the conflict with Ukraine. But that's just, uh, that's just my uh, opinion. That's just my conjecture. We'll see. All right, but jumping back to the point. Uh, a curse, Deuteronomy 28 and 23. And thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thee shall be iron. And that's the, when you're planting and growing, that's what you don't want. The heaven to be brass, you know, dry. And, uh, and the earth to be iron, hard. Uh, you, need, you, know, you need soft ground. You need that rain to, to soften that ground up. You need those conduits that can that can bring water to uh um to, to 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 whatever you're planting. The Lord shall make the rain of thy land powder and dust. From heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. <laughs> and that's what that's what happened, man. The Lord took everything from us. All right, hey, Genesis 8 and 22, hey, Wisdom of Solomon talks about what? The Lord have given me understanding of different seasons, 
Genesis 8 and 22, he said, while the earth remaineth seed time and harvest, cold and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. That's that's the seasons. That's what that is. All right. Spiritually, the former rain was before. And now we're in that, that time for, for the latter rain. All right, which the latter rain is really the, the, the like I said, the springtime rains. That's right before, you know, the 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 big harvest. All right, uh, I think I might have skipped one, but that's okay. You know, the point was been made. Lord willing, this is edifying. Oh, I gotta close with this Ezekiel thirty nine. And 29, neither will I hide my face anymore from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith the Most High. He's poured out his spirit. Call Lord, Lord willing, edifying. Shalom.